Howdy. Aaron Boster here from Ohio Health MS Center. Thought I would take a few minutes and talk about uh, something which is very common in multiple sclerosis, but uh, sometimes uh, not often talked about, and that's uh, constipation, bowel problems, and ways that we can improve upon it. Uh, something that I like to refer to as bowel hygiene. And so bowel hygiene, behavioral techniques that one can take advantage of to facilitate having a normal in multiple sclerosis, uh, there's an increased risk of becoming constipated. And the constipation is painful, uh, it can make spasticity worse, um, and uh, it's something that can get us bound up and, and into troubles. So what are some things that we can do behaviorally to facilitate bowel movements? Number one, we need to drink more water. Almost all patients I see uh, don't drink enough water. And let's be honest, I don't drink enough water. But if you're constipated or if you're having trouble moving your bowels regularly, it's critical that you drink enough water. Now, in the past, we used to tell people six to eight large glasses of water a day. Um, there's newer data that suggests maybe you don't need to drink that much. Uh, and many people suggest a 20 ounce bottle of water between breakfast and lunch and between lunch and dinner is a good place to start. So number one, increase your water. Number two, we want to add fiber to our diet. Now, fiber is an indigestible solid, like wood chips. Now, don't eat wood chips, but my point is, it's something that you put in your mouth that comes out your tush because you can't digest it. And there's all kinds of different types of fiber. Um, many, uh, many foods that we eat have fiber in them, like broccoli, although I don't think that um, most people could eat enough broccoli to really add enough fiber to their diet. We're talking about somewhere around 30 grams, sometimes a little more. Uh, one of the easy ways to do that is to pick up a fiber supplement. Uh, you'll notice that at every grocery store in the United States, there's an aisle for I can't poop. And you go down that aisle and pick up some fiber, and I don't care what kind it is. And I would add that in uh, to your meals. Uh, maybe take a fiber pill or mix some uh, fiber into your water at each meal. Now, an indigestible solid like fiber, uh, it's kind of like a sponge. So if you stick wood chips or a sponge in and mix it in with stool, it's going to make things worse. If you add water, water plus fiber, now that sponge starts to swell and it makes the stool looser uh, a little bit, makes it bulkier and makes it much easier to pass. And so uh, one of the ways that we want to really right set uh, our bowels is by adding in extra water and by adding in fiber. And that's not enough, but that gets us started. The second thing I want to talk about is the so-called gastrocolic reflex. Gastrocolic is a reflex when you wake up in the morning and have a hot beverage, say coffee, uh, and that hits your stomach, it sends a message to uh, your spinal cord and then down into your bowels to say, hey, time to poop. So 20 to 30 minutes after you have that beverage, your body is trying to make a bowel movement. Now, you may not be aware of it, but intellectually you can remember it. And what I would like you to consider doing is, after you wake up, put something in your stomach, maybe a hot beverage, 20 to 30 minutes later, sit on the toilet and try to have a bowel movement. Now, if it's been a day or two and you haven't moved your bowels, then you might want to elicit a bowel movement. And so one of the easiest ways to elicit a bowel movement, and the third thing that I want to talk about is digital rectal stimulation. Now, digital rectal stimulation is great because we all have fingers, uh, and they're always with us in the bathroom, and you can insert the finger inside the rectum and move it around in a circle, and it stimulates the nerves of the rectum to send a message up to the spinal cord to say, hey, let's poop. And so you can facilitate this gastrocolic reflex with a little digital uh, rectal stimulation. So there are many more things that we have to consider when dealing with bowel hygiene. Uh, but these are some that I wanted to uh, go over today. And thank you very much for tuning in. Again, this was an uh, a impromptu educational opportunity brought to you by Ohio Health MS Center. My name is Aaron Boster, and I appreciate you tuning in. Take care.